All right, chat. It's been a minute. It's time for the return of Roll for Sandwich. We gotta let a lot of them build back up, so we got a lot of them to go through. D&D, &D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today, I'm going to be using a very special dice set. I think I know why I think it feels weird. Is there's a border on it? I don't know. Is the border new? Did we miss a border? Is that like a new part of the lore? Healing dice from Donate Life. They created this dice set to encourage people to sign up to be an organ donor. I'm an organ donor myself, so when they reached out to me about these dice, I was happy to have them on the show. This set of D&D dice includes eight dice instead of the usual seven, each containing That's representations cool. of the organs and tissues that could be donated by one person in order to save eight other lives. Donate Life is currently running a sweepstakes where you could win this awesome set of dice by signing up to be an organ donor. Check the link in my bio for details. Yo. All right, let's get rolling on today. Yo, some, uh, some, some charity slash giveaway slash... Collaborative stuff. It's you sandwich. love to see it. Three, Jewish pumpernickel for the bread. This Jewish American version of pumpernickel differs from its German counterpart by including both rye and wheat flour. All right, let's roll I'm, I'm, I'm not a big fan, of, a fan of really, really dark breads. Four, leftovers. All right, let's see what leftovers I've got today. I've got some leftover barbecue pork ribs. I've stripped the meat off the bone and we're going to pile it up on our sandwich here. And don't worry, yes, I heated them up. These were tasty last night for dinner, and they should be pretty good in a sandwich. Hopefully I get another sauce that pairs well with the barbecue in. sauce that's already on them. All right, next up, let's roll for cheese. Five, Swiss. I think okay. Swiss is a good choice here, especially to so pair far, with the So far, so good. So far, so good. we don't have to make our own holes this time. Next up, let's roll for roughage. Five, capers, and 11, none. These salty buds of the caper those? bush are a little bit of an oddball in this sandwich. I feel like they go more they with look like, like peas. fish and chicken, but who am I to question the dice gods? Honestly, they're probably just pranking me because it's pretty impossible to keep these things from just rolling right off of this sandwich. Are those not so just peas? So we're going to do the best we can and then move on from there. All right, let's hit it with some wild magic. 18, sumac. Used widely in Middle Eastern cooking, this spice has some citrusy notes. I can see it working pretty well with the capers. We'll see how the rest is. Last but not least, I feel like that would go well on the meat, roll. not like the cheese, but you know. Old Bay hot sauce. Old Bay is a seafood seasoning popular in New England, and they made a hot sauce. Wait, it is? It's funny we got Old Bay with the citrusy notes of the sumac and capers. It's like we're seasoning these ribs as if they were fish. I live here, and I didn't know that was a thing. Let's go ahead and get our sandwich closed up here. Get our toothpicks in to hold it together. And let's get it cut. Also, the funniest thing of all time was Somnus yesterday finding out Massachusetts towns and going, what the hell? All your towns are stolen from England. And I was like, yeah, no shit. It's called New England. Dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> and let's take a look at that cross section. <laughs> Part of the fun of doing this show is you never know what you're going to get. For Sonus. better or for worse. Let's see how this <sighs> one is. That one yeah, looks pretty bad, decent. There's not any major yeah, like a seven. flavor clashing going on. It's a little, a little dry despite having peas. two sauces. I wasn't big it. on the peas. And I think it would have benefited from some different roughage. All in all, though, it's not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8.6. And I'm going to call it the pig in fish's clothing. Once again, don't... My ratings are off. That was an 8. I forgot that there I'll can be monstrosities. A uh, meh is like an 8. And thanks for hanging out with me today. Have a good one. And if I don't see you, remember, you never know until you try. True, true. You never know until you try. I would have never been a content creator if I didn't just give it a try. That's what Karki had me do. So if you love me or hate me, you can either thank or tell Karki to go f himself. Good afternoon, D&D, &D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. First up, let's roll for bread. Three, Jewish pumpernickel. As I mentioned in my last video, Jewish pumpernickel is made with wheat and rye flour, Rather than just rifle. Looks like we'll never know PVE. Or next up, let's roll for our main. Eight bratwurst. All right, we cooked up a couple of brats here in our pan on the stove, and then we're gonna cut them in half long ways so that they fit on our sandwich better. These peppery sausages are good on a bun, but I think they'll be pretty good on this pumpernickel as well. Next up, let's roll for some cheese. Okay. Two, vegan American. Ooh. I don't know if this counts as part of the cheese curse or not. I mean, it's technically not cheese, but it doesn't taste too bad. And you know, not everybody can have cheese, so I can get behind dairy-free alternatives. Next up, let's roll up some roughage. That's no. 
If you are lactose intolerant, deal with the shits. Embrace flavor. Deal with the consequences later. 10 raspberries and 12 roll twice. All right. Let's raspberries? Nah, don't start with One your shats. sauerkraut and six cucumber. All right. Raspberries is a little bit different, but they're tart and not overly sweet. Oh, my God. So they're I actually raspberries. That tartness might give us a little bit of acid and kind of fill the role of like a pickle or something. This time for the sauerkraut, I added it to my pan and cooked off a little bit of the moisture. You know, which also caramelized it a little bit. I that looks would not that bad. To these two, but I can kind of see I would need it, but I still notes. think it doesn't look that bad. And now we bad. have the triumphant return of cucumber. It'll be nice to bring in a little crunch to the sandwich, so I'm okay with that. All right, next let's hit it with a little wild. Chat, I know this week's been rough for having to take poops on stream, but stop spamming cloggers and chats, please. I'm begging you. Magic. Nine, truffle salt. Salt on the cucumbers is great. And we're adding a mushroomy umami flavor from the truffle, which should be interesting. Chat, do you like truffles? Least, the D20 sauce roll. I bought some truffle butter a while ago for some steak, and then I forgot that I had it, and then it went bad, and I never used it. It wasn't very big. It was a very small one, so it wasn't very expensive. But I was like, was that very good? Three, Vegemite and butter. Vegemite is a yeast extract, which is a byproduct of making beer. It's salty and savory and very- Oh yeah, I got asked by every Australian that watches me, all seven of them, have I tried Vegemite and I couldn't find it. I couldn't try it. Like I, I looked in a bunch of stores, I couldn't find it. So I never tried it. Very popular in Australia. I've had Marmite, it's yeah, All seven of them asked me. Cousin, but this will be my first experience with Vegemite itself. This is strong stuff, so we don't want to go too thick. This will be enough to cover our entire piece of bread. Let's get our sandwich closed up. That's a lot, is it not? Get our toothpick sandwich. I heard it was a very together. strong flavor. Let's get it cut in half. And let's take a look at that cross section. Oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> I was gonna, I'm going to be real with you, my guy. You know, making it didn't look that bad, but this, oh my lord. It's got a lot of nice colors. Oh. <laughs> I love how positive it is about it. Like, it's got nice colors. It's like, that's like Emong trying to find a positive thing about Overwatch. It's like, yeah, dude, it's it's Overwatch. It's like, oh, this one has man. some strange <laughs> Okay, dude, shut the f*** up. But then again, some pretty <laughs> normal things, like getting <sighs> bratwurst and sauerkraut together. Let's give it a taste. Well, it's a messy one. This is very strange. Like, it, it works way more than I thought it would, for sure. The Vegemite isn't overpowering. The raspberries just add a hint of tartness. I don't know if I'd go out of my way to make it again, but it's not bad. No. I'm going to give this one an 8.2. And I'm going to call no. it the Walkabout Kraut. As evidenced by this video appearing today, our baby's still not here yet, but we're all doing just fine. Maybe I'll see you Friday. Maybe I, I won't. No way. Wait, actually, wait a minute. I thought we stopped watch <coughs> stopped watching these when he had his baby. Did we see this already? No, we haven't. We I checked the old videos. We'd only watched episode thirty or one thirty. Hey TikTok and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Wait, I don't know who this is. I feel like I should. Actor D and D Honor Among Thieves. Oh, I don't know. Oh no. Today I'm going to put my fate. Sophia's hands and roll in the dice tower. Oh, She's also from it. See, I actually read that originally, and I read that as it. I was like, "What the? F what do you mean? She's from it?" And then I was like, "Wait, that doesn't make sense. It's it." Yep, just right in there. Just roll right in there. Oh, that's so helpful. It's a four, so that's uh, seven. 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 Cinnamon raisin bread. Ah, cinnamon raisin could be. You forget flats isn't cultured. What is that supposed to mean? What, yo, hey. I don't watch a lot of movies, man. I just, I just don't. I don't watch a lot of movies. That's it. I just, you know, sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not, and you know, sometimes I, I just, I prefer. Forget it. I, I'm not gonna win this battle. Tricky, but pairs with more things than you would think. Roll for main. This one's a three. Tuna. All right. It's going okay so far. I've actually got hickory smoked flavored tuna today, which I think will go a little bit better with the sweeter bread than just plain. Chad, tuna. do you like tuna? I'm a little bit worried about the rolls okay. going forward. Very as quick story. My, so basically, okay, for those who don't know, I grew up like really, really poor. It was just me and my mom. I was a single mom. Um, but when I was like 19, um, she was still struggling. I was in college. 
Uh, but I was getting to the point where I could kind of like spread my wings and go, you know, because of student loans. Plus, I was like, you know, I I was like, uh, that's when I think I was signing to Siege at that point. So I had a little bit of money, not very much, like not enough to really live, but just like enough to be like a college student, you know, like I could buy ramen and shit. So basically, uh, my mom kind of wanted to live with her now husband, um, but they were still dating at the time. And was like, you know, if I went and live with him, I could save more money and then I could help you out a little bit more um, instead of like paying for the house here. And I was like, yeah, like, let's do that. So we were going to move out. And my best friend, um, his name is Anthony. He was going to come live with me, too. But he had a really, really, really bad relationship with his parents. He's one of the sw- like the nicest people I've ever met. His mom is legitimately psychotic. Like, I like I actually have never looked somebody in the eyes and went wow you have problems like legitimate problems like i like it doesn't matter if right wrong and different she would just like blow up at everything like everything in the world so he told them he's gonna move out with me um and they got pissed and kicked him out early they were like you're how dare you leave get the fuck out now he came to live with me um for like the last like month or two before my lease expired with my mom and so my mom went to go live with her her now husband and so he had space to stay in my apartment or in our apartment at the time. She would still like kind of like come back and forth and like help out a little bit because like I was still commuting. I was driving like from my house to Bryant went to go to college. And it was like a 48 mile drive each way. Basically, though, uh, we had a, a metric ton of tuna. I don't know why, but my mom loved tuna, but she'd never ate it. So we just had like a, like the cupboard, like, you know, like it's like the spices and stuff like that. And it was just full of tuna at all times because I didn't need it. But Anthony apparently liked tuna and he's like a, he was like a big gym person, you know. Um, so he loved to eat tuna after the gym, you know, and it's cheap. Um, so my mom came by one time and goes, where the f- is all the tuna? He'd eaten it all. There was like 40 cans of tuna. And he, he'd just been eating it <laughs> because he knew that I didn't like it. He'd ask me, he's like, do you like tuna? I'm like, no, f- the tuna. But my mom had already kind of left. So he was like, oh, f- it was already here. Might as well have it. And my mom comes back and she gets mad at me. He's like, why did you eat all the tuna? I thought you didn't like tuna. I was like, that wasn't me. What are you talking about? It was him. And then he felt bad. He was like, I didn't, I didn't think anyone liked it. So then I was like, no, 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 it's fine. You had it. I, I just, I didn't know. I thought he ate it. And she was like, well, why would it matter if he ate it, if I ate it? And then my mom's in that awkward position where she's like, well, I was actually kind of mad about it, but it's because it's you. I don't care that much. <laughs> you know, why would you rat him out? Because she's not going to get mad at him. You know, like your mom's going to get mad at your friend. Come on now. We all use that sometimes. Like if you knew that the parent was like really nice to your friends, like you'd sometimes blame your friend and your friend would go, yeah, sorry. I, I would, t- I took the fall for other people too. If I went to their house and we f***ed up, I just like, yeah, it was me. And I'd be like, oh. Okay, but if it was them, oh, they were getting clapped. You know what I mean? So it was it was a good way. We we had balance. It's called balance. You know what I mean? But anyways, I don't know why That's that reminded me of that. But here. I've never eaten. Uh, dude, this guy legitimately at one point was just eating it out of the can. Here, I don't know. So I, luckier than I, I, I don't know. Like tuna. I don't know how this f-ing guy did it. Maybe maybe you're more like him or you're more like me. Oh, yeah. But I, dude, roll for cheese. I've never seen someone eat so much tuna in my whole life. Again, a very distinct flavor, but I don't uh, think it's out of place sorry, here. Ranting. So far, so good. Anyways. All right, roll for rubbish. <sighs> You're gonna get a, a seven and eleven, so just seven eleven. Just lettuce. Seven okay, eleven should trigger lettuce. like a like a special. True, it is going pretty well so far. Special condiment lettuce and nothing was probably a very lucky roll, as it won't like change dog, the taste too much. You know, roll wild magic. Chat. What's the first thing you think of when you think of seven eleven? I think of the rolly hot dogs. I have to agree. This is the most off the wall thing we've gotten so far, but I think the flavors will pair fine. Now I'm growing, you know, well. Mm-hmm. I'm usually terrible. Um, 13 uh, brown mustard. Wow. Yep. All right, 13 twice. You're welcome. <laughs> I made a substantial a, meal. <laughs> wow, this really ended up being a pretty typical tuna sandwich. Yeah, it's actually I mean, not bad. There are some weird elements, but it's not that off flavor wise. Chat, what? If anything, it might be a little boring. Let's get our sandwich closed I hope nobody up here. saw that. Um, get our toothpicks in. Chat, what type of together, mustard are you into? And let's get are you a honey mustard? 
uh, yellow mustard, brown mustard, sweet mustard, tart mustard, hot mustard. What type of what type of mustard? Uh, let's are you? take a look at that cross section. <clears throat> All right. Hang on, gotta let one go. Cheers. 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 Did you hear that? I don't think you guys are. Okay, we're good. We'll try. No, it's good. Good job, guys. I think one bite's enough. But what a chat. What are you, uh, what are you the hell all this one then? I mean, you probably have a lot. Yo, Wes. Oh, nice. He's a 10 gift. He's appreciative. Wait, the regular tuna sandwich was a six? All right, well, I'll give you a little bit of Dungeons and Dragons honorable mention. Yo, thank you for the 10 gift. He's appreciative. Thanks so much, man. Go see it, please. Uh, yeah. Very, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very glad you guys did that. Thank you. I'm very glad you guys didn't hear that, because uh, that one had some power behind it. Holy shit. 